Let's try to understand demand and revenue functions. P of x equals to minus 6x plus 16 is the demand function where x is the number of items sold in thousands and P of x represents selling price in thousands of dollars. Find the revenue function. Find the maximum revenue in thousands of dollars. Now the relation between demand and revenue is that revenue function is equals to x times demand function. So that is a relation between revenue and demand function. So revenue function is x times demand function. Think like this. Let us say if you buy shirts and cost of each shirt is let's say forty dollars and if you buy three shirts then the total revenue which the shopkeeper will get is three times forty. So it's like that, right? So for the seller the revenue will be number of pieces sold times their rate. That is how this function is related. So here we are given demand function is six minus six x plus sixteen and the revenue is based on x where x is number of thousands of pieces. So we can write this as x times minus 6x plus 16, right? Which could be written as minus 6x squared plus 16x. So that becomes the revenue function for us. So that is part A. Now, we need to maximize revenue in thousands of dollars. Well, our x is in thousands of dollars since the demand itself is in thousands of dollars, right? So we have a quadratic equation here which needs to be maximized. To maximize this, we can have completing the squares method or we'll do partial factoring. Partial factoring is a good way of doing it. You can even do by minus b by 2a. You know, maximum will be at, if you remember, at x equals to minus b by 2a. If you apply that formula, minus b is 16 here, right? So minus of 16 divided by 2 times a, which is 2 times minus 6, right? So it is basically 16 over 12, which gives you 4 over 3. So for x equals to 4 over 3 thousands, we get this maximum profit. So if you substitute 4 over 3 here, you can get the answer, right? The other way is we'll do partial factoring. So partial factored form is already given to you right there. So we have revenue function as equals to x times minus 6x. We can factor out minus 2 also. Now, since I've written, okay, let's write factor out 2. So we can factor out 2. In that case, we'll get minus 3. Okay, uh, wait. So this is kind of wrong. The function is x times minus 6x plus 16. So that is our revenue function. Let's start with the revenue function, which is x times minus 6x plus 16, right? So here you can factor out minus 2 and then you get minus 2x and you are left with 3x plus 8. Plus becomes minus since we factor out minus 2. If you expand it, you'll get the same result. Now, this could be 0 for x equals to 0 or x equals to 8 over 3. Do you see that? So those are the two points and average of those will give you axis of symmetry. So at x equals to either 0 or add this 8 over 3 and take a mean of this. What do you get? You get 4 over 3. The same result. Do you see that? So for 4 over 3, you get the maximum revenue. Find the maximum revenue in thousands of dollars. That means replace x with 4 over 3. So you get revenue of when x is 4 over 3 and when you replace it in this equation you can calculate the maximum revenue correct so write 4 over 3 and then calculate your answer so where we write minus 6 4 over 3 square plus 16 times 4 over 3 use your calculator and write down your answer so what do we get you get 4 divided by 3 equals to square it times it with 6 so that is with the negative sign so make it negative and then add 
16 times 4 divided by 3 which you get 10 2 over 3 that is approximately 10.66 right so so that is so many thousands of dollars is the revenue which is kind of maximum revenue for you right so, so 10.666 thousands of dollars so that is your answer so the revenue is in do dollars 10.666 thousands of dollars the unit is thousands for this and for x also it was in thousands so we get this thousand in thousands right so that is how you can write down your answer so 10,666 is your revenue in this particular case thank you and all the best